Yeah, cool. Um, next problem. Um, content warning again. Oh, 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 I am going to give you a bit of context for this one. Um, yeah, so this poem is called After You've Gone, and, and the, 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 the content warning is, is suicide again. And um, so I wrote this poem like a year ago, I think, and um, I only found out like a month ago, I only sort of clicked in my head a month ago. But if any of my suicide attempts had been successful, I would not have, so I'm from a very conservative Muslim family, I'm also Muslim, uh, but yeah, I would not have been given a Muslim burial, which was very interesting to find out, and something that I really should have known. Um, but yeah, cool. So this poem will be altered accordingly. Not, not right this second, but at some point. After you've gone. When you're gone, they'll say, I can't believe it. She looked so well. She was doing so well. We didn't see it coming, but she praying, do you know? They'll sit through straws at my funeral. The men will wail uncontrollably, inconsolable. The women, the women will carry my casket to showcase to the men in the other room at Gumbul Sharif Mosque. Not a single tear shed from the women. They did all they could. There are those who will be angry. Crunched teeth, tongues, bitten to blood, arms folded away from hugs and opinions. People will keep saying that they are shocked. How this is awful. What an awful thing to happen to someone so young. The women will carry my casket on shoulders as strong as the foundations of homes. Heads focusing on feet, on the closest point to God, focusing on God. And the unfairness of it all. Her brown girls are abused over and over. How no one cares. 